Six foot seven. That always helps off the jump. <laughs> She's won every tip so far this season, I imagine she has. Take a look at our officials, Angelica Suffren, Thomas Danaher, and Billy Smith. We see both teams playing in that 2-3 zone. We're going to see an eerily similar style of play as the nice 15-footer. I mean, she was a favorite of mine already, but now just watching what she's been able to do with her conditioning, is, it's been terrific. Another freshman 4-3 nailed there by Priscilla Williams. With this player, why I love her is because she's got such a high basketball IQ. Look at that. There Jumping passing lanes immediately, getting the steal. And then, by the way, this is a player over 6 foot. She just brings the ball up. No big deal. <laughs> she knows how to sell the show. Meanwhile, Mungakahia with another three. Too much body as she's trying to get her out of the paint. But look at Cardoso. Look at the space that she takes up. Gets Mbondu on her back. The turnaround off the glass. Mbondu has all the points so far for Miami. That's going to change right now as wide open. Breakdown in the backside of that zone. Nobody found the inside. Lewis, extra pass, and the finish. Rack up assist when you've got someone at six foot seven that can handle the rock. I like that she didn't bring the ball down low. Banks comes back with an answer. Keep an eye on Cardoso. They were willing to give up some Syracuse threes, and that's what's happened so far. Inside the three-point line after a pump fake is Mangakahia. Rebound, Engsler. Looks like a different person out there. Engsler for three. Including Engler, the best sixth player in the league. Not found the range just yet, but she will. You can count on that. Extra pass from Banks running the court. And a beautiful finish. Kakahia will give it up far side. Engsler looking down to Williams. Williams driving to the rim and the end one. Eleventh in the country in this recruiting class. Look at the way she drives to the bucket. Booth parents. The way that she has assists. I mean, her steals. We've already seen a few in this game. She is just a player that fills the stat sheet. Look at that. Yeah, look at the fake. And then Jeez. to the rim and the finish. The fake was textbook. And knocks it away. Look at this. Yeah, you got to respect the three-point shot. So you come out and fly at her. <laughs> And then she shows you. Some people will say I'm overdoing it, but her IQ, the way she can pass with both hands, do that pump fake, it's LeBron James-esque. That's the kind of player she is as a three is hit there. Probably going to start changing up the defense. Rebound for Cardoso. One of the things I like about her as well is she can run the floor. She creates lanes. Exler with the lane. Indication of Exler doing everything right. Perfect cut. Turnover. At the rim. And Syracuse Williams with a bucket. Timeout Miami. What a start for Syracuse. And Duke has just an incredible reputation. And she's one of those player coaches. She does everything she can to get the best out of her players. Extra pass from Lewis. And the extra pass results in a three for Fisher. You know, you missed your first three or four. You think about it a little bit, right? Well, let's see. Stroutman out. Sets her feet. Done thinking. Buries it. Driving to the basket, Cardoso gets a block, but the finish staying with it. That was Goni with the basket, my apologies. Well done, Goni. What a pass down low, the answer up and in, Stan Stuffer. Didn't even have to look at that, all she did was just throw it up, and Camilla went and got it. Another bucket from Goni off the bench. 37 to 19. Fisher is in there now for Montpahia. And it's the other 15 that scores Houston. Pass to Stroutman, a rebound by Engsler. It's like there's five Engslers out there. Lewis, Cardoso, up and in, and the end one, as advertised, Cardoso. And it's her timing, too. It's not just her length. She knows this game well, and she can time her jumps, so she's able to get deflections. Cardoso, the threat, but dancing around that threat. Just taking it on their own and trying to get shots outside of their set plays. That's when they start getting a little sloppy. Right there, look at that. They inside, they go inside. That Jaldi Tavi should have caught. And it's perfectly placed, and, and Manga Kahia will come up with that turnover. Banks, left hand, sweet stroke. And Miami now, we've been able to see a few times, has been able to find good, good uh, daylight. 
Back to my point, though, as the leaner coming. Uh, Q sat down Lewis and Tiana and said, if you guys want to be good this year, it's up to you. And those two... Miami can keep the production and a good run that has been featured by Goni as well as Banks. As she enters the game for Miami. Oh, what a pass! What a pass! Coming off the screen, and it's the no look. Very open hands of Camila Cardoso. Stroutna got her hands in there. Blocked from behind. No whistle. Tremendous block there from Jody Tabi. Shot clock difference just by two seconds. Shot from three. Even the, the bigs can shoot for Syracuse. That's always been a staple of the Orange, and they finish with a three. Three before the bobble. Shot one up. One for eight. Rebound, Williams. Williams, five for five on the day with 12 points for Miami. Yeah, I thought Houston should have taken that up. There you go. Look at that Houston. pressure up top. Takes it away. One. Kahia running the show. Williams perfect from the floor so far. Lewis pretty deep. Stroutman up. Hits it. She needed that. Also up close. Seeing that six foot seven is one thing, but seeing her run the court and look like she's fit after such a long layoff is Williams. Again, perfect. Another three. Here in the third quarter is incredible, but it doesn't matter. Syracuse just keeps making buckets all the way to the rim. Manga Kahia. She's averaging almost 27. Cardoso up and in. It's been a fast pace to this game, and Tiana Manakahia is wise to start slowing things down a bit. Back down to Exler. Position. Will they continue it? They will. And last year, Emily just lit it up, and she was passing, rebounding, triple threat, doing everything. And we interviewed her after the game, and it was one of the better interviews that I've heard. She was outstanding. Second half effort from Miami's been solid. Lewis, rebound. Fisher, another one of those freshmen. And it comes out to her. Fisher, deflected. Roby. Kelly Dale was counting on Roby. And I think, are they going to give the continuation there? Houston in double figures for Miami. Marshall, 0 for 4. Their leading scorer held scoreless by this Syracuse team. Stroutman up. Hits it. You know, in terms of just her physique and her body and her mentality coming into this season, and, and she did not miss a beat in terms of her basketball play. She touched the basketball a moment ago. She got another rebound as once again. She was, you know, in surgery for cancer. Uh, she's now cancer-free, so she is. She could not be able to be at 100%, you think, in terms of just everything. The time on the shot clock, everything going right for Syracuse, who leads at 81 to 47. Miami, nice answer under the bucket, up and in. Got it just a little bit short, her first miss of the day. Four players in double figures, and Engstler with nine, and another bucket from Cardoso. Seven for eight from the floor. Body inside, good footwork. And look at that, just getting around her offensive player to tip it out. But Miami, they're going to make you pay the man that they need. And, and rightfully so. It, she's a terrific player. But think of that tandem of Williams and Cardoso. The next four years, I mean, these are first-teamers in the ACC, no doubt. Yeah, they don't play like freshmen at all. Doesn't play as much, but takes advantage of her minutes. She's two for two from three-point land. Cardoso drops it out to Lewis, and Lewis hits a three. Don't sleep on Lewis as she's walking her way up to double figures. Stroutman up. Williams still perfect. Seven for seven. Hand in the face that time. Doesn't matter. Williams sets her feet. Yes. Number 13, Maude Hobins. And she'll be in the middle of that zone under the bucket. Over two minutes remaining 
off the glass. That'll fall for Miami. 2016. I'm not sure with this big a lead if they're going to take another three. Oh, they might. Oh, they tie it. 17 threes. They tie the record here. Three point record? Or just Priscilla Williams in general? Eight of eight from the floor. She has hit every three point shot she's taken. As they count it out, Syracuse, one short of 100. 99 to 64. When you hate as a coach to have to coach effort right now, and, and you need your big players to come in and, and make a difference. And there's Engsler getting the double figures. Right? Five players in double figures for Coach Q, Syracuse team that had not played a game since December 20th. You would never know it as they look like their ACC tournament.